The Schoology course is the space where lessons and resources are housed. This video is a quick tour of the Schoology course at the Classical Academies. Keep in mind that depending on the grade level and school program, your child's course may look a bit different. Students in grades TK to 6 will have one grade level course with lessons for each subject area. C-Track students who take selective courses may have additional Schoology courses for each class they take. Some students may have courses for extracurricular activities like ASB or choir. On this screen, I am logged in with a parent account and I have selected one of the students in the family. Gwen is the parent um, and these are her two children. Jean is a fifth grader. When the parent is viewing her daughter's course, a banner displays as a reminder that she's viewing as Jean. The parent is still logged in with her parent account. Account. When I click on the student name, I can see the parent name there and the, uh, all the students associated with that parent. Now I'm going to switch screens and show you the same course, but now I'm logged in as a student. There is no banner reminding me that I'm viewing as a parent. Um, and when I click on the student name here, you can see there are no other names, no parent name, no sibling names. The course content displayed is very similar to what was displayed on the parent screen. So once again, look at this as a student. And now look at it as a parent. So you can see it's very, very similar, but there's an important distinction. When logged in as a parent, you can view anything in the course. You can open these folders. You can click on any of these links to open the curriculum documents to view lessons and other information. But you cannot submit assignments online, participate in online discussions, or take online quizzes. In order to do those activities, a student must be logged in. If the parent is logged in, as shown on this screen, you will not be able to submit assignments do online discussions or take online quizzes. It's just an important distinction to keep in mind. Let's look at a fifth grade student, Jean Finch. When Jean logs into her Schoology account, she lands on her Schoology homepage. At the top of the screen, she clicks on courses to see a list of the courses in which she is enrolled. At this time, she only has her fifth grade course. When we click on it, it opens to the materials page, which is the home page of the course. In the left navigation area, um, I can also choose the updates page where the teacher might post occasional updates about the class. Jean can also look at her grades and um, the members of her class. So on the materials page, the course home page, um, you'll see a lot of inf important information some items that the teacher has said students in fifth grade need to know about, information about conference signups, and then unit one. Click on the subject title to open a curriculum document with the lessons for the entire unit. Additional unit folders will be added here throughout the year. A separate video titled Curriculum Document Quick Tour demonstrates how to best use these curriculum documents. In the upcoming area over here on the right, um, you may see upcoming assignments or events. You can also view the entire course calendar by clicking on this little calendar icon here. Notice that when you are inside a course, you still have access to the home uh, page toolbar and all of the links that are there. Clicking on the title of your school here in the upper left will bring you back to the home page.